Hello, Doc Detroit here. I figured I'd give you guys an update of what's been happening here at uh, Doc Detroit Land in the shop. Uh, as it happens, uh, I get sick. Oh, the day after I was cleaning the frame, which has nothing to do with it, I, uh, I ended up getting uh, shingles. And for those that don't know, shingles is the virus that causes chicken pox. And if you've had chicken pox, the virus stays in your spine, basically, and goes dormant, and then every once in a while decides to infect part of your nervous system. And um, it affected mine. Uh, I got a painful rash on my shoulder and on the back of my head. And uh, you may notice one of my eyes is kind of lazy right now. And that's because it's affected uh, the nerves in the back of my, I guess, uh, the muscle, the control muscles for my eyes. And it's neat, because if I use this one, the other one goes off. It's rather strange. See, there's that one going. So, it's, uh, I'm not looking that way. <laughs> But at any rate, it has made it very difficult for me to get any work done. And uh, as it turns out, uh, I probably have another month of dealing with this garbage. But uh, I do feel better. I'm not in pain like I was. Um, I mean, it hurt, to, it hurt to touch my skin. Um, and then the muscles were hurting. But it is getting better. Um, I don't wish it on anyone, but uh, I was able to help move an engine, not very successfully, but I do have the engine for the, the Model A uh, vintage race car, which isn't really going to be a Model A, it just happens to be the frame I'm using. I'm going to be using a Chrysler 6, because I wanted to use a 6-owner, and hopefully we'll be making our own intake manifold and exhaust because I want to have the exhaust come out through the side of the hood and run down the side of the car. So uh, that's where everybody's at. Well, that's where I'm at. I want to thank you guys for your concern. I've had a few people ask me where I've been. And uh, I haven't abandoned anyone or the project. I just got hurt. Well, not hurt, sick. And... Uh, yeah, it's weird. Hey, you know, you think you get the chicken pox and it's over with, but no, no, it's got to sit there in your body dormant for 40 years and then decide, eh, you know, let's come out and have a good time. But uh, let me flip this around a bit and excuse the shop because the accident we had uh, bringing the engine in is the fellow who was helping me tipped it over and he hadn't drained the oil or antifreeze yet. So I have the Valdez here in my yard. In my in my garage so let's uh yeah see that disaster over there that's going to be the engine we're going to use i've got to get it running and clean it up and paint it and do whatever else i'm going to do to it uh, so and the frame is still right where we left it in fact <laughs> the wire brush is right still where we left it so uh again guys, thanks for your concern and and the and the the letters of love. And uh, I will be back as soon as I can with an update on this project. Thanks a lot.